Hey folks, welcome back. I want to show you a small trick um, how you can synchronize a drum loop, which is this one here. And kind of use it as a yeah groove source for some other tracks. And I know a lot of people actually want some kind of groove pool for Biblix Studio, but I want to show you how you can utilize now the node grid and um, uh, some of the quantizer functions to extract some grooves. So we have this groove here and we obviously want to create some kind of uh, drum beat here, maybe with a drum sampler. I take XO here, uh, for instance. Let's take a basic groove. Something like this, and we paint in here some some basic grooves. So C one, about the snare drum, so something like this. So this groove is really straight, so we need to apply the groove from the from the drum loop here above. Uh, maybe use a pick limiter first. So we do this by using a note grid on the XO uh, drums before. Uh, so so the notes basically from the clip here go into the node grid and here we transform the groove and then we pass it to XO. So in here we need to change the triggers so we need of course a clock quantizer. Go in, go out and this one here takes a signal um, and this signal is basically our drum loop and everything that goes here in the top jack will be synchronized to the bottom input. So we use the sidechain input here, audio sidechain. We take the classic boom bap beat here into that. We use an oscilloscope here just to analyze this. And we take um, maybe a envelope follower here so we can smooth out a bit of the signal. And everything that's above 0 0.5 is a trigger. Okay, so we can change what what kind of get triggered by using just a basic volume knob here. So now everything is below 0 0.5, so nothing gets triggered. Some of the signal is now above 0 0.5, so it's kind of a side chain um, of threshold. So maybe we can also use here um, the gate length thing. You can see every every time here something passes over 0 0.5 gets a yellow trigger. So now we get here a nice signal and we can use this as an input for our clock quantizer. And now everything gets delayed. Every gate gets gets delayed until something happens on the second input bus here. And it sounds like this now. Okay, without the note grid. You have to play around a bit here with the 
uh, with the gain knob to get all the triggers right. And also sometimes when you have a lot of hi-hats in here and there are no hi-hats in here, um, you don't get that many triggers, right? So uh, it's kind of, but you, you get the groove. So with the note grid, Um, in some occasions, when you have, for instance, here the sna snare too early and the trigger of this snare here hits even earlier, then this one doesn't get triggered. So sometimes you have to delay the boom bap here, or the classic drum loop by just a tad. So you can do this here by just using a delay in here. You don't need to delay it that much. So super simple, use all the notes that you use to trigger your drum machine and um, modify here the gate signal and quantize these gate signals to your drum loop by using an audio sidechain from a different track. Delay it a bit, use the envelope follower here, use the amplifier to um, kind of implement a basic threshold control. Use the gate length here to make the triggers as short as possible and then trigger here this uh, clock quantizer or use it as a clock signal, basically. So easy peasy. Um, I think it's a nice trick sometimes when you want to convert drum loops to other drum loops or maybe you want to um, yeah, just use a different drum loop as a guide for your groove. So this can be a nice trick.